Hello! One video I want to address today is sewing machine lighting. I think as you're sitting down and you're learning how to do sewing, it's critically important that you can see what you're doing. Honestly, I found myself sitting and working in low light situations and I'm like, I am struggling, I'm not having fun, I can't see the stitches, I can't see what I'm doing, my seams are going crooked, what's wrong? Then I realize I need light, I haven't turned my light on. So this video is short, but I just wanted to bring out the point about your sewing machine lighting. Make sure that when you set your sewing machine up, that you set it up in a place with lighting. I am blessed that I have a little sewing desk that I can leave up all the time. So I will show you here briefly the lights I have set up. They're not crazy expensive. You can use small lamps, big lamps, whatever. I do recommend daylight, the t either the like the daylight LEDs or if you want like compact fluorescent, you can. Um, but get a daylight simulating bulb. I like those a whole lot better. I think not only are you going to get a little truer color of your fabrics that you're working with, it just, I don't know, it's a brighter, whiter light that you just see a little bit better. Um, I don't really like how like on the machines a lot of times the light bulbs more incandescent more of the yellowy light and I don't dig that that much so if you can switch to LEDs do it I'm thinking about seeing if I can do that with my uh, my Bernina there um, I just I don't know I don't like the yellowy light um, but all in all sometimes even mixing lights is not terrible because you can get a different color spectrum and get a little bit of variety but at your sewing desk, whether you create your desk for your sewing machines or whether you basically just set your machine up only when you're sewing, maybe you're setting it up at the kitchen table, make sure you get you a, a good area with some light, a little desk lamp or something. I'm gonna show you mine here real quick. I'm gonna flip my the video. Sewing desk, it, let me kind of pan. I'm off my tripod, so I'm sorry if I make you seasick. I moved my sewing desk downstairs recently, as some of you seen in another video. And just this weekend, I was adding some extra lighting. Up at the top, I've got one light up there shining down, and it's one of those compact fluorescent that I really don't like those very much, but it is what it is. It's just what I had available. I'm using them up till they die, but we've pretty much switched off to LED lights. I like them a lot better, and I like the daylight ones especially. That particular compact fluorescent, I think, might have been a daylight simulator but I don't like that kind for various reasons but regardless that little lamp up there is like a cheap lamp I want to say it was like nine bucks or something it wasn't much um, I would say I could link to some lamps but seriously I mean you can find lamps anywhere um, but that's super super cheap this one down here I just acquired over the weekend and it's basically one of those I think they call them like architect lamps or something I think Walmart has them about 14 15 bucks. I got this one at a thrift store. It's old, it's ugly, it's beat up, it's almost cream colored instead of white because it's so old, but it's just such a great lamp to be able to move it around. It's got an LED in it right now, and being able to angle it, re-angle it, I really like this kind for sewing because you can angle it, like right now I've got an angle right on my serger. Up here, this one my husband and i done some light switching he does modeling for like tanks and planes and stuff like that and at his modeling desk i flipped and gave him one that had a different magnifier on it that was lower and smaller and it was a, a daylight simulating light that we bought at hobby lobby and it was nice bright light i liked the light but it was just too short because if your light is too short then it's not casting down on your machine and that's a problem this one is much taller and as you can see I like the lights that can have an angle and move because this is it's nice it's got the magnifier which honestly with my eyes I could use and help you with your sewing machine threading but that is a nice feature this one clamps you can see back in behind there it clamps to the desk um, I'm trying to remember where he bought this I think it was Hobby Lobby back a few years ago I want to say it was about 20 bucks but I could be remembering wrong let me kind of see if on the inside it's one of those tube type or it's circular it's good and bright I don't remember if it specifically said daylight simulator but I think it is just by looking at the light it's a very white light not at all yellow but I like that I can get it down here I can put it on either angle whatever I want right on my machine and especially right up and under there because I your machine has the light and stuff on it like I'll flip my Bernina light on here 
and it always takes a second to come on. See how it's very yellow? I don't dig that. But it just needs to be brighter. And having that where I can come and down and get in there and get and see really good, that's just critical. You don't have to have every light that I have. I mean, I know I've got like three lights running here, plus the lights on the machines themselves. But it just helps so much, if you can see. If you sit by a bright, sunny window, you might be fine. But if you're not, I would recommend... Of course, if you can find one like this, I like this because it's real nice and tall and the magnifier is a bonus. But this right here, I mean, it's a $15 light if you buy it at brand new at Walmart. Go to a thrift store. They're not, I paid $2 for that at the thrift store. So find you a light like that. Even if you're just setting up at your sewing machine at the kitchen table, get you a little light like that that you can pop in beside it so you can see what you're doing. And if you can see what you're doing, you can thread your machine better if you don't have an auto threader. That does have a threader and that is a lifesaver. But it, uh, it just helps so much, not just for threading, but for being able to do your seams good. If you go, like you're working on a black fabric and you're trying to pick, pick black stitches out of black fabric, that is murder. It's miserable trying to do that. So sewing machine lighting, very, very important. Set you up some. It doesn't have to be expensive. There was a time we had, um, at, when I was at the house that I lived at previously, I had a shelf up and over everything, kind of up and through here. And from that shelf, we hung shop lights, and it was long fluorescent shop lights. And again, those lights were like $10, and then uh, we put daylight simulating fluorescent bulbs in them, and that worked beautifully. So that was another cheap solution. But you don't have to go into Joann's and buy those like $50 alt lights or whatever it is that they have. Any basic desk light or what have you, just make sure it's taller that you can get the light cast out on your machine. So get you some cheap desk lights. Go to a, th oh, I'm sorry, I was touching the microphone. I hope it didn't blow it out. Go to the thrift store. Get you some cheap lights um, if you've got one near you. If you don't, then Walmart or something like that will work. Amazon, whatever. And, you know, make sure you got plenty of lights. Use what you have. If you already have a lamp, you know, get it and set it beside you. If you can, get you a LED daylight bulb or something and put that in there. So just get some light be in the light don't dwell in darkness as the pastor used to say so <laughs> i hope you guys have a blessed day goodbye